Okay, so I found something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about. These customer labels, name labels, um, I guess that's what they're called. Um, just says order stickers and they say um, warm and live and inspire on them. You can use regular, you can go to Walmart and get little stickers, you know, but I do strongly suggest that you individually put a sticker on the outside of your orders with especially a large order, whether it's just a big regular Scentsy party order, but especially a fundraiser because you are you need to be able to distinguish who's whose and so um if i were you i would not only put the name but the student so if any order gets mixed up because it's very possible it does when there's a lot you're only human you know you're probably gonna have to stop and go to the bathroom or eat some dinner or do whatever or call it a night and start back up in the morning or whatever and so you know, things get mixed up. It's It just happens. So this will help you if something, you know, some an order gets put in somebody else's box by mistake, they'll be able to go, oh, this belongs to this student. You know, coach, you know, Nikki, this order was given to me and it says that it's supposed to go to this person. So then there's, it's actually cutting the middleman out. They don't have to call you and be like, whose order is this? you know, they'll see that it's supposed to go to that student and that name will be recognized by that student. Oh yeah, that order was missing. So the more detailed you can make, the smoother things are. Yes, that's an extra step that I choose to do, but again, it makes your life easier. That's why you need to tell these people when you are giving them a, a delivery time frame that it's, you know, even though I placed this order last week, less than six days ago, and everything except for maybe an order or two is in, that doesn't mean I'm calling her and saying it's gonna be done this week because there are so many steps that need to happen before I'm, I'm gonna tell her, okay, I'm ready to deliver and schedule a time because um, you're going to stress yourself out if you do that, I'm gonna tell you that right now, or you might make a, a, a mistake and you don't wanna do that. So give yourself a lot of time, at lots of detail, um, just remember that you can order from the um, from the family store, and I strongly suggest for you to do so. These little thank you fundraising, and then make sure that you put your label on the back right here with all your information because that's what it says. When you're ready to reorder, if you are interested in hosting for free product or would like to know more about business, please contact me. So then all your information is going to be there, um, which takes time. To go through and label all that so I haven't done that yet and then you helped raise this amount of money and then you can put for that specific cause so then the thank you is already done and um, if you want to take the time to do more that's great but when it comes to a fundraiser again everything time is money right so I would utilize these because they're already done for you um, but this is just another step so just think about that. Everything you do takes uh, material, meaning you got to buy these, you got to buy. Um, but again, this is your depart. This is your area of marketing. This is your marketing for your business. So any normal business has a marketing expense that has to be made in order to grow their business and get their name out there. So this is the, the investment side. I'm donating my money that I'm making, but I'm all, and I'm also spending money in order to do this. So it's a cheaper way than if you went and had to do marketing for a corner store, but um, it's stuff that you have to buy and you're not going to get any money back from it, at least right now. It's an investment for later business. So um, as I'm going along and seeing little things that I'd like to make sure that everybody's aware of, and I know you guys are all probably wondering, um, I'm just going to do these tiny little videos for you. So um, I'm putting together one order and I have not done this part yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the orders together in just so I know they're all together and they're all there. And then once I know they're all labeled, they're all together, then I will package up everything after these are all done. And um, at, once these are done and put inside, then I will go around and tie everything up with ribbons and all that fun stuff and complete everything. So 
there's another step is whether you want to utilize um i have them here somewhere oh they're over there hold on a second these these are going to help you get these customers to come back to you these frequent buyer um cards again another investment that if you you know you might be giving away a hundred of these just if, for a fundraiser but this people like to know they're going to get something after buying so if you have a good amount of stamps or even just one it's more likely they will decide to use you as a consultant if um you give them something like this so it's just whatever you're willing to do in order to get that new business so think about that and every little step you do make an investment you do make is going to make a difference in your business but just don't expect the result immediately um and then one last tip about that is that just because we're labeling all this stuff <laughs> and our name is everywhere it doesn't mean they're going to call you we are a customer service business it's our job to contact them and see how they're doing and if they need anything so don't think just because you have put all this effort in that you're done after it's delivered you're still going to have to put effort in to make those follow-up calls you need them to hear your voice you need them to hear your energy and thank them for their support of the business these little thank you cards can be thrown away but a voice on the other line is definitely going to make a, a nice impression so think about that and and factor that into your schedule when am i going to make follow-up calls to say thank you for these customers and then talk to them about hosting a party for the holidays or talk to them about um joining your sensi family all right i'm sure i'll have plenty more to come bye, -bye.